Now, Kevin, let's move on to another subject. Most people, when they think of stiffy push poles, they think of flats fishing, they think of shallow water, they think of trout, redfish, maybe even snook. Now, we were talking off camera earlier, you mentioned that Stiffy is making inroads into the bass market, and as a matter of fact, you even attended the Bassmasters Classic this year. What does Stiffy have for the bass fishermen? You know, the bass guys, uh, all your tournaments now that are set up for bass fishing, the bass guys are doing the same thing that we're doing for redfish. They're starting to sight cast bass on the beds. And all your tournaments now are following a spawn somewhere, wherever it might be through the United States. So same thing that we want to do when we're stocking fish in the shallow waters, they're stocking bass in the shallow waters now. But, you know, we've got platforms on the back of our saltwater boats, and these guys don't have that. And, and they don't want that, broad, that pole sticking up on their deck like we do normally in the saltwater industry because they've got 12 fishing rods laying up on the deck with different baits on them. So they want to be able to stow that, rod, that push pole and get it out of their way. So... spent seven years designing this new two-piece connection. Uh, I, first two years I worked on it real hard, next two years I didn't even want to look at it because it frustrated the hell out of me. <laughs> so this is our new two-piece connection. We came out with this three years ago. Since we've come out with this, this connection is extremely strong. It takes about 1,295 pounds of pressure to break the connection. And again, you're never putting a load just right on the connection. The hole takes the whole load, so you never get that kind of weight on there. This makes it very easy. To have a multi-piece pole, a two-piece pole, or a three-piece pole, it can slide in six-foot, seven-foot sections and fit into your rod locker on your boat. It's virtually seamless where it goes back together. Most people can't even see where that goes back together. So these bass guys are buying 12 and 14 footers is what seems to be the most popular size. And as they see bass on a bed using their trolling motor to slowly sink in on them, they have to back the boat up. When they back that boat up with the trolling motor, they're on a bedding area, so it's soft bottom, very sandy, very sooty, and when they run that trolling motor reverse, it throws all that sand and all that dirty water back over that bass's bed, and if you're not in a heavy current area, it could take 30 minutes to an hour for that to clear up, you can pitch, make a pitch to that fish. They can see the fish now at the trolling motor, stop the trolling motor, back the boat up with the push pole, and either use it for an anchoring system or put down their power pole or put down their ramrod, hold the boat there, and make their cast at that fish. So this has been a great product. We've been out for the last three years. We have a number of the guys that are on the Elite Series. As a matter of fact, the tournament that they just fished for the Bassmaster Classic, which was in New Orleans, tides about negative two foot. So everyone that fished that tournament, if you watch the show on TV, there's a push pole laying on everyone's boat, and the majority of them on my pole. Main, made with the same products and craftsmanship as any other stiffy push, push pole, right? Yes, sir. That was the big thing on this two-piece connection. We used to have one out that two-piece connection held it to about 400 pounds of pressure. It was still, at that time, the fanciest two-piece connection on the market, but when you're getting yourself in a bind, and especially down here in South Texas, you got heavy winds, people are pushing on their boat, you got heavy boats, we had a tendency to possibly break that two-piece connection. So again, this was something I spent a lot of time on designing. Um, since we've come out with this, no problems at all. Again, back to what you mentioned, the stiffy quality. Um, I would love to be able to sell someone a push pull every few years, but they last so long, I don't get that. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes innovation can bite you in the foot. You know, it, it does, and uh, she wants to move this way a little bit. It, it definitely does, but you know what? I, I, I'm a, I, I buy products for fish in, and I like it when they last. You know, I, I don't like it when I buy something. I think that it possibly might have failed because of the, 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 the manufacturer's quality. Kevin, thank you very much for taking the time to show us all your products and everything that you have. Ladies and gentlemen, if you go to a boat show or a fishing show or a fishing tournament and you see the Stiffy Push Pole booth, take some time, come on over. Kevin Shaw will be happy to show you what they've got.